Make.com is the leading no-code software platform to build your automations. And in my opinion, it's by far the best. So in this video, I'm gonna break down five of my favorite automations that actually make your business more money and save you more time. There's tons of bad videos out there explaining automations that you're never actually going to use. So I wanna do the complete opposite and only give you the best automations. Also, if you stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna explain how you can get your hands on these beautiful automations completely free and built for you. Let's dive straight into it. Let's start with the first automation and this is by far the easiest but a really effective one that you can use if you want to write personalized outreach messages. So how this works is you can see that we have the start of the automation which is watching new rows in Google Sheets. So how this works is that when you upload new leads into a Google Sheets, it's going to automatically create a personalized DM opener based off the bio description that we upload to Google Sheets. So it literally writes hundreds of personalized messages in a matter of seconds. Now, just to show you a bit more on the back end of how this works, you can see that if we go to the first module, which is Google Sheets, it is essentially watching new rows. So it's gonna be watching um, A, B, C, in terms of the Instagram URL, the name and the bio. And you, know, you can see that it's all connected here. And then in terms of ChatGPT, we've actually given ChatGPT their first name, their bio, so it knows how to write or what to include in the personalized opener to make it custom, right, to the actual person. And as you can see, these are actually good opening messages. Like if we click on this one for Lorel, you can see that Lorel is a realtor extraordinaire at Barclays Real Estate Group. So the personalized opener says, hey Lorel, I saw that you're known as the realtor extraordinaire at Barclays Real Estate Group and wondered if you'd be open to getting more clients on a complete results basis. So you could change your offer to whatever you want to sell, but it's, a, it's done a really good job of actually including the uh, personalization. And it's done that for all of these people. You can see that it's completely unique and this is just scratching the surface of what's to come in this video. Like it's gonna get a lot better as I show you more automations. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a really easy and simple one because there's only three steps to it. And then once it's done that, it's gonna add a row to Google Sheets and that's how it puts it into this part right here. Um, and as you can see, this will run every single minute. So you can just upload leads. Um, you can scrape these cold leads automatically um, using scraping tools. I've made videos in the past on how to scrape leads, but um, yeah, this is amazing because it just runs pretty much 24 seven and it will, it will constantly add a new um, message to the the row right here so h um so that's just the first one keep watching because i'm going to show you how you can get your hands on these automations at the end of this video so for the second automation we've got an amazing free lead magnet that can write amazing ad scripts content scripts any form of copywriting scripts you can think of this is going to do it now how this works is we basically have the trigger as a tally form so instead of it being Google Sheets, which was the trigger for the last automation, we've got Tali, which is essentially just a free form creator. And it looks something like this. I highly recommend using Tali.so because it's completely free and it's just it looks way better than Google Forms as an example. But once people fill out this form, so you would basically use this as a lead magnet by um, reaching out to your prospects, saying to them, I want to write 15 completely free content scripts for you just to show you how good I am. So you're going to reach out, you're going to offer free value to them, whether it's creating their new ad scripts or their new content scripts. And the best part about this is it's automatically going to create the ad scripts for you. So it's a free lead magnet, but you don't need to do anything yourself. So yeah, you want to lead with value when you reach out to prospects. Um, so obviously you'd get them on an appointment and you'd ask them these questions ideally. And then once this form is filled out, just with some basic info about their business, ChatGPT is gonna collect all this information, which you can see right here. So we're, we're, we're telling ChatGPT who their target audience is, um, what is their biggest pain points, um, where do you want these scripts, like what platform, content, do you want it for ads? Um, and then you can see down here, we basically give ChatGPT the niche, the biggest pain points, what you're selling, um, the niche's dream outcome, what sets you apart, all of these micro nuances that are extremely important um, in order for ChatGPT to actually give you a good output. Because if you've used ChatGPT in the past and it's given you bad results, it's just because you haven't given it enough information. So this is amazing because once people fill out this form and you can get really creative with this, um, you know, however you want to, um, but 
once people fill out this tally form, which is this one right here, and it's going to automatically run through this chat GPT module and then it's going to put it into Google Docs for them. So the number one use case I would say for this would be reaching out to prospects and offering to write their content scripts, ad scripts for free. And then once they fill out the form, it's going to automatically do it for you. Um, the second way is to just create content for yourself. So that's why I think this is my second favorite automation because there's so many different ways in which you can be versatile and use this automation. I think it's amazing. Um, or, you know, the third way is you could actually just use this in your offer. So if you, let's say, run a Facebook ads agency with automations, you could use this just to aid you in terms of writing the scripts for you so you're not spending so much time in the delivery. So those are the three main ways you can use this automation. But once again, you can get way more creative than this. Okay, so we've got my third favorite automation and this one is by far the most creative one. I generally don't think you would have seen an automation this creative before. So how this works is that when members or your clients fill out this onboarding form, which is just a tally form, which you should know by now because I explained it in the prior automation, it's just a form builder. But once people fill out this onboarding form with their first name, their email, who they're looking to help, what their offer is, are they introverted, do they need clients, to just some basic information. This automation is going to essentially run through this chat GPT prompt, which says you're gonna build um, my clients or members a custom 90 day scaling plan using the information below. So it's gonna give chat GPT their first name, who they are looking to help, um, just some other information you can pause and read it if you want about their business. And then it's actually going to write a full custom scaling plan for them and you can see the amount of like value that i've added in here um it's pretty wild so it's going to tell them exactly what they need to do but then here's the best part it's not just going to write a boring email to them with their scaling plan like on a google doc it's actually going to use my voice to send them an email as a voice note telling them exactly what they need to do to hit their goals in the next 90 days so think about it they fill out a simple form from that point on, immediately as new data arrives, you can see at the bottom, it's going to you know, run through the chat GPT. It's going to clone my voice, which is already in 11 labs. And it's going to create a, a speech synthesis, meaning that it's going to just take the output of this and turn it into AI voice. It's going to upload it to Google Drive as a file. And then it's going to send them that file via email um, saying something like this, 90 day custom scaling plan for it would be their first name. That's what this field would be. Um, so it's going to be, hey, first name. Hope you're having a great day. I've just finished building your custom 90-day scaling plan. Get a piece of paper or Google Doc and write it down. Um, feel free to listen to it right here. So it's going to give them the link that they can listen to. Um, and then, yeah, I basically use this in my community. So if you want to know how I use this every single day, I mean, I've had hundreds of people go through this automation on the front end and I'm just showing you the back end of it and they absolutely love it because members join my community and it gives them like a custom plan based off my knowledge. So it's literally like I were to tell them what they need to do each day. Um, so that's how I would use it in your position. If you have a, let's say, low ticket community or maybe a free group or a free community, once members join, you can get them to fill out this onboarding form and it's gonna create their scaling plan for them and you can obviously add more to it um, but I think this is an amazing automation that a lot of you guys should be using in your funnel, especially for your um, like communities, if, if that makes sense. Or you could even sell this to a community owner. So that's another way you can use this if we're being versatile. So moving on to the fourth automation, we are going to have a viral content automation. And this one is amazing. So just to show you what this does, all you need to do in this automation is basically put a Instagram URL of a competitor. And that is all you need to do. From that point on, once you put a URL of a competitor, this automation is gonna scrape their entire profile and basically find their best performing content ideas. So you can see that it's gonna get the data set. It's then going to run another act actor, which basically means it's just scraping their page again. And it's going to um, essentially see how many followers they have. And then from this point on, this is my favorite part about it. We basically have a virality filter. So a filter for seeing if they're, which content they've posted has gone viral. You can see here that we've got um, a video that has a video play count divided by how many followers they have. 
and then we need to make sure that that number is greater than three. So to put this really simply, how this works is if they have videos on their Instagram in terms of like reels that have gotten three times more views than their followers, so a 3x multiplier, then I consider that a viral content um, piece of content, right? So it's gonna automatically pass through this iterator and put it into a Google Sheets. But then here's the best part. So not only are you just gonna get amazing content ideas from your competitor um, in terms of what content's done well on their Instagram, and then you can look at that and see how you can make variations of it and improve it, it's then actually gonna run through this ChatGPT module where we're telling ChatGPT to act as a social media growth expert and it's gonna provide you with killer viral content scripts. You will need to create 30 engaging and informative um, value-driven content scripts. So yeah, it's gonna give you, um, I mean, you can just read how in-depth this is, but it's really powerful. And then it's gonna put it into a Google document for you. So in summary, this automation works by basically you putting in a competitor here. So we just put Hormozy as an example. It's gonna scrape his profile. It's gonna see which reels have gotten three times more views than his followers. It's then, and you can change this filter by the way, um, really easily just by making it like one or two or even removing this if you just want your competitors Instagram reels it overall. Um, but then obviously it's gonna put it into Google Sheets. So it's amazing just for like this part alone, let alone having ChatGPT actually analyze the data and then making more content scripts for you. So the fifth automation is gonna be a data scraper. I thought it'd be rude not to include a data scraper to help you guys with lead generation. So this is a really simple but effective one. And it works in a similar way to the viral content automation. But instead of you putting a competitor into here, all you need to do in this data scraper automation is actually put in a URL of a prospects about page or website or landing page or profile, something that you know, ChatGPT can use to write a personalized email or outreach message too. So it's gonna get um, data from this URL. As just an example, I put my community, um, but it's then gonna get the data from that. It's gonna run through this ChatGPT module, which basically says, um, tell me about this website using JSON. Uh, make sure you don't write, yeah, obviously JSON. So we're just giving it instructions. It's then going to pass through the JSON and then it's gonna add it to a Google Sheets. Um, so very simple, and you can do more than one URL at a time, I believe, um, but just to keep it simple for you guys, you know, just to show you how this would work, if you just go onto Google, so like if we take this roofing company, for example, in London, all you would need to do is pop in the URL to it, and then click OK, and then just run this automation, and it's gonna write, um, you know, a personalized email and put it into Google Sheets. But then what you can do is you can actually add Gmail. Let me just move myself so you can see this. You can actually put Gmail right here as well. So you can send an email. So it's actually gonna scrape the website. In this case, we just chose a random one in London and it's gonna actually be able to write an email to the, um, to the email that is found on the website and it's going to um, have a subject line and you can obviously write whatever you want in the content, but this would be the result. So yeah, the, the result that ChatGPT has done by scraping the, the website. So yeah, really cool. Um, I think this automation is very effective if you are just wanting to do email outreach and you wanna personalize it based off something without you having to actually spend time writing emails. If you enjoyed the five automations that I showed in this video, and obviously I had to speed run it because I didn't wanna to spend too long on the video, but if you want all of these automations that I've shown in this video, all you need to do is go into the description. It will be the first link in the description uh, download the automations after putting in some info like your email, or whatever, so I can send it to you. And then once you've put in your email, you will receive um, all of the JSON files for the automations. So what that means is that once you, yeah, obviously you click the link uh, in the description, it's completely free. You can get the actual blueprints. So all you need to do is click on more, import, choose file, and then just choose the files that I send you, right? So for this one, you can see that it's gonna be the data scraper and I will send you all five blueprints so you can just import it straight away like this into your make.com account. And then all you need to do is just actually connect each platform internally to make.com. So what that would look like for you, you can see that it's blank. So this is what it would actually look like. For example, OpenAI, you would need to add your API key in here and your organization ID. 
And that's all you need to do. Obviously, I've written the prompt for you, so you don't need to change that. You may just need to change the Google Sheets as well. So you need to connect your Google Sheets because, you know, make.com needs to know how to send it into your own account, right? So yeah, just connect each application to make.com and you'll be good to go. There's always resources, um, for example, like see online help here or online help here. So they've done the work for you. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, just drop a like and subscribe. And I'm also going to be hosting a free automation training this Sunday. So there will also be a link for that um, in the description, or maybe I'll just combine it into one link so you can just register for that and get these five automations. I don't know. But um, yeah, stay tuned for more videos on my channel. And yeah, subscribe because a lot of you aren't subscribed. And I, I don't want you to miss the future videos that I have. So definitely subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy and have an amazing day.